Hi, I'm Malcolm Porter. I'm the public policy consultant for the Columbus Medical Association's Policy Committee. Doctors Stephanie Costa and Bill Cotton are co-chairs uh, for our committee, and any CMA physician uh, is welcome to join the work of the committee uh, should they want to. For those of you who follow the news, you know that the Ohio General Assembly uh, is focused on trying to pass a two-year budget. You also may be aware that uh, as of the recording of this video, uh, that the legislature was unsuccessful in getting their budget done on time, and we currently have a 17-day uh, interim budget in Ohio. It's important for physicians to understand that this 3,000-page bill has a number of policy issues that affect Ohio patients uh, and their doctors. Two that I'll mention uh, initially have to do with the Medicaid program uh, in Ohio, one of which has to do with access to the Medicaid program and physicians are supportive of the expansion of Medicaid and the limitation of work, re work requirements and other barriers uh, for Ohioans to take advantage of Medicaid, as well as uh, the support for expanded funding that began under the Kasich administration and the DeWine administration uh, is continuing on. In addition to Medicaid issues that are in the budget though, there are three other items um, that directly affect doctors. The first of these additional items that's in the budget has to do with telemedicine. Ohio regulated insurance companies would cover uh, telemedicine as a, a format for delivering care to Ohioans. We prefer that physicians be able to negotiate um, what the payments for telemedicine services would be um, and that the legislature not get involved in that component, um, but that we do rec want telemedicine recognized as an emerging new and legitimate way to provide services. The next issue that's in the budget uh, that's worth bringing up is price transparency. There are provisions in the Senate version relating to uh, requirements that insurance companies, uh, rather than doctors, be at the center of providing to patients uh, what their cost uh, for scheduled services might be. We're supportive of patients being informed uh, of costs, um, but we need it to be done in a manner that can be implemented. From our perspective, it's virtually impossible uh, for our physicians to be able to efficiently be aware of each of their patients' current standing with their own insurance companies, uh, and that the plans need to be at the center of providing this information. And the final area that's a significant policy area in the state budget uh, has to do with out-of-network or surprise billing. The Senate has looked at the state of Texas and the state of New York uh, for some model legislation to base uh, reimbursements uh, for situations where there may be physicians who are out of network, um, yet providing a service through an in-network hospital setting. So we understand uh, the issue that legislators are trying to address in terms of the surprise billing and out of network rates for patients and are looking for some sort of compromise that can allow for compensation for physicians services and yet do it in a manner that uh, is consistent or at least more consistent uh, with the patient's insurance coverage. While the budget has been the most dominant form uh, of activity at the legislature, there are a number of other issues having to do with patients and doctors. Most of these are all work, are works in progress and there's no resolution yet, but there are hearings and uh, there are bills on a number of these topics. Immunizations uh, is certainly one of them. Um, and it remains uh, an issue where there are a strong uh, contingent of legislators who are favoring individual choice, if you will, over immunization policies uh, that we think would be more appropriate that would be based on public health needs. Health education uh, is another area where there's Central Ohio leadership. Dr. Beth Liston, uh, who's a new state representative from Northwest Franklin County, is the author of a bill to establish standards for health education uh, in our schools. Ohio is the only state in the country that does not have health education standards. Uh, and certainly the outcome uh, measures for population health, uh, particularly for our younger people, uh, is not particularly good in Ohio. We would be supportive of trying to establish some basic standards uh, for what 
uh, should be taught uh, by local school districts. There are continuing to be scope of practice issues uh, at the legislature. Uh, we are supportive of models where physicians are leaders of a team of healthcare providers and certainly issues related to APRNs and CRNAs are, are still being negotiated. Um, and we'll see whether or not there's a successful resolution that, that can come in either one of those cases. Some CMA physicians are very much involved in public safety issues uh, around access to firearms as well as uh, access to fireworks. Uh, and I think we'll see some more activity uh, in the coming months uh, around those issues as well. in an area that's important to the Medical Association and to the Central Ohio Trauma System, which is one of the CMA's affiliates, uh, the President and Congress were able to come to agreement uh, on a five-year funding plan for emergency uh, disaster preparedness. Uh, this is an important kind of boots on the ground uh, kind of issue that is something that COTS provides leadership in our community on uh, preparing for uh, natural, natural as well as human uh, caused disasters that, that might occur uh, in our area. A final area of comment uh, is also related to the federal government in the 2020 elections. We expect healthcare uh, to be at the center uh, of the presidential election and we're already beginning to see that. Congress uh, over the summer is expected to be trying to deal uh, with prescription drug pricing and out-of-network billing issues, uh, as well as insurance coverage. Um, and there are lawsuits against uh, uh, full implementation of Obamacare, uh, which have been going on for a number of years and, uh, and is seemingly going to be continuing on this year as a part of the political discussion. And Democrats, uh, in their initial round of debates, have also begun to bring up issues around so-called Medicare for all, or ex actually expanding uh, coverage beyond Obamacare. One of the topics that our public policy committee has asked is that we bring forth some better information for doctors around what does Medicare for all mean. We'll try to be a good neutral resource uh, for presenting some background information related to, to expanded coverage uh, under Medicare for All or any other particular name it might go by. Thanks for the opportunity to share some thoughts uh, around issues that Columbus Medical Association physicians are working on through their public policy committee. If any of this is of interest uh, to new physicians uh, who might want to join our work, please feel free uh, to contact Drs. Cotton or Costa uh, or Lisa Oyer at the CMA. Uh, your input and participation is welcome at any time.